one of the most underrated cities in Spain. On its southern coast, you have Malaga. This is the birthplace of Picasso, and we'll be exploring the city's hidden gems and top sites. It's Sunday morning, and we started off in the Plaza de la Merced by going to the morning market there. They're selling a bunch of cool things. I bought earrings for five euros, and they were the cutest things ever. So it's morning time here in Malaga and we're not actually starting off in Malaga, we're taking the Alsa bus which takes us to Nerja which is a really nice city right beside Malaga. The tickets to Nerja are only about 4 euros and 50 cents and it takes you to a city that's about an hour and a half bus ride. First spot we're going to, we're here right away. We're at the Cueva de Nerja, the Nerja Caves. It's 14 euros per person. So these are one of the oldest caves. They were formed over 5 million years ago. And a visit to them is truly amazing. You go underground and there's a really large cave, one of the largest in Andalusia. We went on our way down to Playa de Maro and this is a nice beautiful beach. You walk all the way down and you can see this beautiful scenery. You can also rent paddle boards and kayaks here. Unfortunately today is a yellow flag because the waves are really high. But there's also a waterfall here that you can check out. But you can only get there by kayak or a paddle board. back from Nerja also using the Alsa bus and now we're here at the Alcazaba which has free entry on Sundays from 2 p.m. all the way until closing which is at 8 p.m. The Alcazaba's location made it a really difficult fortress to conquer in the Middle Ages. to just walk around and explore. There's so many tunnels to go through and find new things. Highly recommend doing this on a Sunday evening. We've been here for also about an hour, so this we've just been exploring all around. You can go in so many different spots and a lot of it is Moroccan inspired. You can see like a lot of different type of Moroccan stuff. Here now at the Plaza de la Merced and this is the birthplace of Picasso. He's actually born in this house right here. It's where he grew up for a bit. And also in the square is like a nice city center. You have restaurants all around. We're starting off the day with a visit to the Malaga Cathedral. <coughs> Tickets are 10 euros per person for both the cathedral and the roof. And when you get there, you have to buy for a certain time, so everyone walks in at the same time. We made it to the top of the cathedral. The views are definitely not as nice as from the Vista Lookout or the castle. You're also stuck in like a giant group coming up here too. The rooftops themselves look nice but you do have to come with that whole group. You're following them all up the stairs and everything. Now we're at the Ataranzas Market, which is open every day from eight to three, except Sundays. the Malagueta which is the beach in Malaga and it's a great place to just spend the day and chill. Now we're on our way up
up to Castillo de Gibraltar. You have to walk up a really big path to get up there first. And this is a castle that was built in the 14th century and it was built here to protect the Alcazaba. The Alcazaba was built by the Muslims who conquered the Iberian Peninsula during the Middle Ages. So the entry to the castle is three euros and 50 cents and you get to walk around the whole castle. Also for the Alcazaba, the one we got into for free, if you could buy entry to both, that's five euros and 50 for both of those. What's really cool about this castle is that you get full access to it. You can even walk along the walls. You have a really nice view of the whole city and beyond. If you can guess where we're going next, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.